myself for the rubber band, man. Sing it, everybody. Man, there y'all put yourself in the rubber band. Ooh. What is going on, you guys? It is your boy TWX27 in the house. You like this chair? I like this chair. Actually, I uh, borrowed it from a friend. Ah, oh, man, it feels so good to post again. It's been a long week. <sighs> Actually, it's been more than a week. I think it's been two weeks since I've uploaded. Anyway, enough about me. Today, I'm going to be doing a movie review on Avengers Infinity War to basically give my opinion about the movie. I wanted to do a review like some weeks ago, but I've been busy and also... Well, actually, I've just been busy, that's it. I know this is a very, very, very late review, but I have to. I have to make a review on this movie. A warning, there are spoilers. In fact, you know what, I'm just gonna put it in the title. If you haven't watched Avengers Infinity War, go and watch it right now, because this is gonna spoil the whole movie for you. If you still wanna watch this video, go ahead. Don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway. My opinion about the movie, it was great. It was an amazing movie. It's probably one of the best Marvel movies I've seen so far. I say so far because I don't know what else they're gonna make. Well, actually I do, but I don't know how they're gonna be. That's the thing. But I I'm sure it's gonna be good. I mean, it's Marvel. Marvel never disappoints. Unlike DC, freaking DC Comics. And that Justice League movie was trash. It was so bad, like it ended up, like it just ended with Superman just defeating the guy, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Just Superman? You may as well just have called it Man of Steel 2. Anyway, back to Infinity War. Yeah, it was a good movie, and uh, man, Thanos. Man. I actually have respect for Thanos. He managed to win. Yeah, he won the fight. And Thanos, he's a very interesting character. Like, he has... A goal like he's not like your cliche kind of you know villain like uh, -ha -ha, I'm gonna take over the world blah 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 you see he actually has a plan he had a motive to commit basically universal genocide but basically for half of the universe like he said he was going to because he said like part of the universe is running out of resources and he said by doing that he has to kill off half of the people because like you know from his planet Titan he, um, like, a lot of people were, you know, suffering, not having enough resources. I mean, I personally don't necessarily agree with what he said, but you do get where he's coming from. Like, you do understand why he had to do it, but still messed up. Okay, let's get on to the funny parts of the movie. This movie had a lot of funny parts. The one that I laughed at, but at the same time I was confused. Like, you all know Ebony Maw? Like, the guy with the, um with the force powers. It was when like Tony Stark called him like Squidward and I was just like, Squidward, really? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh man, when Guardians of the Galaxy showed up, I was like, yes. Cause I like the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're cool people and funny people. I feel like the comedy mostly comes from them. I mean, I know the others like have some comedy as well. Like, you know, like Tony Stark and Thor, but I feel like the Guardians, I mean, honestly, they're like the comedians of the galaxy, basically. Like the freaking comedians of the galaxy. Oh, <laughs> Drax. <laughs> there was this funny scene when Drax, he was just like, like, he was spying on Peter and Gamora when they were talking about serious stuff. And then Drax is just there, just eating Zark nuts. And Peter was like, dude, how long have you been standing there? And Drax is like, an hour. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still. I've become invisible to the eye. But my movement is so slow, it's imperceptible. I'm sure I'm invisible. Hi, Drax. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking Drax, man. Funny guy. Another funny part was when Thor called um, Rocket a rabbit. Like, ra like Rocket was like talking about the weapons and stuff. And then Thor was like, the rabbit is correct. And Thor, rabbit, and no, not rabbit. And Rocket was like, rabbit. <laughs> Ugh, that was funny. Let's see, what other funny parts were there? Oh yeah, with uh, Spider-Man. Like, when he met Doctor Strange, he was just like, I'm Peter, by the way. And Doctor Strange was like, Doctor Strange. And Spider-Man, he was like, oh, we're using our made-up names. 
Okay, then uh, I am Spider-Man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Besides, why would he reveal his identity? Like, the Spider-Man I know would never reveal his identity to anyone. Even if it was two superheroes. I mean, come on. Oh, <laughs> this was another really funny part. Man, too many funny parts. Was when, it was when, like, Peter Quill and the other guys met with Stark and Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. He was like, okay, I'm gonna ask you this. Where is Gamora? And Tony Stark is like, okay, I'll do you one better. Who is Gamora? And then Drax, he's like, I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora? <gasps> I laughed. That was so funny. Another funny part was when, um, like, Doctor Strange, he was like, okay, I'm gonna ask you this one more time. Which master do you serve? And Peter Quill's like, which master do I serve? What am I supposed to say, Jesus? <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, on to the serious parts of the movie. There was a scene that really surprised me. Like, I remember the scene when um, Thanos and Gamora were on Vormir to find um, like an Infinity Stone. I forget which sword it was, I think it was the Soul Stone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the Soul Stone. Then there's this Grim Reaper looking guy that comes out, and I was like, who's this guy? I was like, wait, oh shoot, it's Red Skull. Like, I remember watching Red Skull in um, Captain America, like, I think this was, the, this was the first one. Yeah, it was probably the first Captain America movie. And I was like, wow, freaking Red Skull. And he was like talking to Thanos of how he was gonna get the st stone by, um, Okay, he said he was gonna give him the stone if he would to sacrifice someone he cared about. And then Gamora, she's like laughing, she's like, <laughs> the joke's on you, you know, like, you don't love anyone, you're not gonna get the stone. And then Thanos just stares at Gamora. And then Gamora's like thinking, oh shoot. I, I knew it, I just knew that Thanos was gonna pick Gamora because, I mean, I do remember in the first Guardians of the Galaxy, that he did say, say, that you, um, like, he was talking to Ronan, like, he was talking to Ronan of how, like, uh, how he did something to his favorite daughter, Gamora. And, you know, that really tells you something. It really shows you that Thanos really cares about G Gamora, not really Nebula. It's probably why Nebula is so pissed off with Gamora, because, you know, she's, uh, her dad's favorite, and she's just jealous. Yeah. Oh my god, the ending, oh, the ending got me. Like, I just saw many of them disappearing. I was like, what? Like, this was literally my face in the cinema. I was like, what? Like, I had my head up. I was like, what? No. The saddest death was Spider-Man. Like, you know, because he's a kid and he's still growing. Some other people that disappeared, like Scarlet Witch and, um... I think Bucket, like, I didn't really care about those guys that much. I mean, I know they're important to the story, but, like, the thing is, I like Spider-Man. He's my favorite Marvel hero, and to see him disappear, that was just disappointing. I mean, there has to be a way he comes back, because, like, I hear that there's gonna be a Spider-Man 2, like, of Homecoming. Like, Spider-Man Homecoming 2. But how are they gonna have the second one if he's disappeared? I mean, there's gotta be some way of somehow they're gonna do this, or are they gonna do like a, like a flashback to uh, what he did before, before the Infinity War, or are they gonna bring him back and then get onto the second movie? Like, I don't know. I'll have to see. Oh, it was sad to see Black Panther disappear. Why? Why Black Panther? They just made a movie about him and they made him disappear. Are you kidding me? They made a movie about this guy and they made him disappear. What happened to Wakanda forever? And now it's probably like, Wakanda for- Like that. There were still some Avengers that were, like, still there. And funny enough, the Avengers that are still there are the original Avengers. I mean, think about it. The ones that are still there, Captain America, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, Thor, Iron Man. Like, those guys are there. Honestly, the only Avenger that I didn't see in this movie was Hawkeye, actually, like I saw him in the other movies. I forgot what happened to him. What happened to him? I forget. Like, I haven't seen him since Age of Ultron. I have to say, <laughs> the funniest death was actually Nick Fury's. And I say this because, like, he was trying to send a distress signal, and he was like, Oh, no. Oh, mother...
<laughs> and then he just faded away. But luckily the distress signal called Captain Marvel, and I was like, oh damn, Captain Marvel's coming. And they're making a movie of her next year, actually, 2019. Yeah, and it's coming out in March next year. Ugh. Oh man, I really want to know what happens next. I have to wait until the next Avengers Infinity War, which is um on which is next year on May. They're probably gonna move it to April again because the one this year was supposed to be like on May, but they moved it to April. So I'm thinking they're probably gonna move the one next year to April as well. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Oh man, I remember the scene when Thanos just went like full Mike Tyson on the Hulk. Like the Hulk was just throwing him around, smashing him. I then, then Thanos just like goes out like that and just like boom, boom. Just Mike Tyson style, like boom, boom, boom. And then just like body slams Hulk like bam. And it scared Hulk, it triggered him. But no, not triggered, it scared Hulk. That's why Hulk, that's why Bruce Banner couldn't Hulk out throughout the whole film. Because the Hulk is scared because Thanos is the only person, well, well, not person, purple alien being. Alien thing. Okay, Thanos is the only creature that's taken him down. Like, with just his hands, you know? And the Hulk got shook. So funny how Bruce Banner was just trying to, like, Hulk out, and Hulk was like, no, And then he's like, what do you mean, no? Screw you, you big green bastard! Ah, oh, man. I really liked Thor's entrance to Wakanda. Because there was like a big battle going on in, in Wakanda. Like with uh, the warriors, the Avengers, and the aliens. And then Thor shows up with a Groot and Rocket. And then he's just like, Bring me Thanos! And just shows his god powers. Just like, boom! That's what I call an entrance. That was a nice entrance, believe me. That, that, that was a beautiful entrance. Oh my god. I think the thing that really made me laugh was seeing that... Uh, Dwarf guy, like, I forget his name, he's in Game of Thrones, like, I'm sure you all know what I'm talking, who I'm talking about. The dwarf guy from, uh, Game of Thrones. I saw him, I was like, ha! No way! And there was a funny moment when he was talking to Thor. He was just like, like, the dispense is too much, it'll kill you. And Thor's like, only if I die. And then he's like, yes, that's what killing you means. He did have a good point. And he made, uh, Thor's axe and then Groot like sacrifices his arm to give like Thor the axe and I found that pretty interesting yeah very interesting yeah, I want to see what happens next I want to see what happens next oh I have to wait until May next year ah the wait is killing me however I do think Ant-Man's gonna be the next one because because first of all why not and I think he'll play an important role yeah, I mean, Ant-Man has to be in the next one. I mean, he has to. Anyway, that has been my movie review for Avengers Infinity War. My rating for this movie? A solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, that's how good the movie was. It was just a solid 9 out of 10. Well, another part of the movie I liked was when, like, Doctor Strange, he was like, like, against Thanos, and he was like, Shh. He just, like, split into different like versions of himself and I was and that was very interesting. I was like, oh wow, that's so cool. I also like how Tony Stark's like tech was enhanced. Like it just came out like that. So he started to cover his whole body with the iron suit. I was like, hmm, impressive. What advanced technology that is. <laughs> I sound like Yoda. Oh speaking of which I hear a Star Wars movie is coming out soon. I think it's uh Solo. Yeah on Han, Han Solo. Yeah. I wonder what the other Star Wars movies coming out like, uh, Star Wars 9. Because I watched Last Jedi, but I don't know when the ninth one's coming out. I don't know if it's gonna be next year. It'll probably be. We'll have to see. Oh, Schmidt, that rhymed. Okay, thank you all for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys liked in the movie. Honestly, I really don't know when this whole, like, Infinity Stone st saga started. I think it was... Iron, I think it all started with the Iron Man movies. I think like the whole Infinity Stone saga started with Iron Man. Or maybe not, I don't know. All of you comment below, like, which one was first? It was either, like, the Iron Man movies or something else that's, like, led to the Infinity Stone star saga. Infinity Stone saga. It's not stuck. <sighs> Okay, please be sure to comment below, like, which movies you think started this whole Infinity Stone saga.
Yeah, and that'll be it. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, take care. Peace out. No. Avengers Infinity War.